Hi, welcome back to the Deli Diaries. Crystal here once again. Today we are going to be playing with this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Adept Cosmetics. It is the one, uh, sorry, Element 115 palette. Look at the beautiful shimmer shadows in there. So obviously a very blue and purpley inspired palette. Not normally my favorite eyeshadow color to wear, blue, but I seem to have accumulated a fair bit of it lately, so we're gonna use it anyway. And they also, when I ordered this palette, threw in this face palette, uh, Gianna face palette. So, you know, we might use some of this. I look, I don't think it's going to be something I use very often, but you know, it's here. So we'll see. Uh, welcome. If it's your first time here and welcome back. If you've been here one time, two times, a million times before, well, probably not that many times because I've only been doing this for like two years. So I don't have that many videos, but I'm so glad you found me. Uh, this is a, a channel where I talk about beauty and makeup, whatever really crosses my mind as well. It's quite a chatty channel and I think that makeup should be accessible to all and it shouldn't be taken too seriously. So without any further ado, let's jump on in and start using this palette. Now what I will definitely be doing is I will get some swatches up for you a little later on, but I will 100% be using an eyeshadow primer because in my experience, Adept Cosmetics eyeshadows do not last on my eyelid. They break up, they crease and they disappear into oblivion by the end of a long day. So we're going to see if we can keep them stuck to my lids. <laughs> the one that I'm using today is the Glitter Fix Gel from Barry M. So what I'm going to do is before I get to that, we're going to go in with some of the mattes and then I'll pop that on my eyelid. Let's zoom you in a tub. Now there are five mattes in this palette. So this is the row of mattes down here and I think they're very, very pretty colors. I'm hoping I get on with these better than I did with the mattes in the La Cienega palette because for some reason they just weren't my favorites to use. They didn't like me. I didn't love them. It's quite a destructive relationship between the two of us. So I'm going to use my Refa 14. I don't know why. It's literally just the first thing I picked up. I'm going to take this one here. They're here. <laughs> a light purple bang that here it's weird because I love the matte eyeshadows that I have in the inspired palette I think those are absolutely beautiful I've never had any dramas with them but yeah not not sure why the La Cienega palette did not work for me. Do you need to come in a bit more? I think maybe you do. I'll zoom you in a tad more. Ooh, every freaking time. <laughs> All right. Is that better? I mean, how intimate do we want to get? About this intimate? Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> so... I mean, that's performing okay. Wouldn't say it was blowing my mind, but you know, okay. <laughs> okay, next, dip into this shade here called Propulsion, which is just a beautiful, beautiful blue purple. And I'm using a Tarte brush. Just picking up random brushes at the moment, not really giving it any thought. <laughs> It's nice. Did require a bit of extra dipping into the palette to build it up. We can deal with that. I don't think Adept is in any way famous for their matte eyeshadows anyway. It's definitely all about the shimmer with Adept. So I've got a few of the other palettes. I love the Inspired palette. I think that's, yeah, it's a beautiful palette. I also have the Minka palette, which I love. I think that's beautiful. And the Plain Jane Remastered palette. But yeah, Minka and Inspired are my favorites. I will say though, the formula is quite different between the Plain Jane and the Minka palette. So in the Minka palette, the shadows started to get super emollient again. Whereas I think there's only like one or two of them from memory in the Plain Jane palette that is that emollient. 
And of course the thing about that level of emollients is that you definitely need something for it to grip to on the eye to keep it there. Just softening that out a little. Okay, for the center of the lid, I'm gonna go in with the shade Conspiracy. Conspiracy. So I did leave a little gap where I'm patting that in. There we go, we're getting some impact there now, aren't we? That looks really cool just by itself. <laughs> I never ever do all matte looks and I think it's because even though they look really cool, if I have a palette and it has a shimmer in it, I mean, how do I not use it? <laughs> Maybe one day I'll learn to resist. But honestly, it doesn't seem that likely. That does look really cool though, just... Hmm, yeah, nice. I'm gonna go back in with the original refer brush and that light purple shade. I just want that up here. There we go. Okay, that is where we're at so far. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for some bloody shimmer. Because <laughs> this palette has got me spoiled for choice. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm dying to know what these colors look like because I suppose you have to swirl them around unless you take a little, you could take a fine brush and use them individually, but I'm afraid to swirl them together because once that's done, I feel like that's, there's no going back. All right, she's doing it. Classified, oh, that's pretty. So it just turns out to be like a pinky purple shade. Sorry, I was swatching the other shades earlier, but yes, I will get proper swatches up for you. And what does this one do? Oh, that kind of turns into the same. Just a similar, I guess that's like a pinky. I don't even know. I don't know what color that is. Oh, this looks like a gray, pinky peach. <laughs> is that even a thing? So that's what they look like when you smush them up together. Ah, glitter primer. <laughs> oh, would have been disastrous if I forgot. Although not that disastrous because I'm not going anywhere today. I was meant to be going camping, but I am not well. Uh, that's the thing about chronic illness is you might look at someone and be like, oh, you look fine. But that's because, especially women, we're great at just putting on makeup and looking completely fine and normal and functioning anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having a real bad flare up with endo right now. So I mentioned in my other videos that I'm going to be trying a naturopath. Also, there's something called cold laser therapy, which I think I'm really interested in trying for the pain in my pelvis. And also because it kind of makes sense that it might help to, and it's supposed to, calm inflammation. So if I could calm some of the inflammation in my tummy, that would be incredible. Meow. Oh my gosh, there are so many beautiful colors in here. I will definitely want to use one of these purples. Oh, that's a real blue purple, that one, isn't it? And that's more of your pinky purple. Well, let's just use both. <laughs> that's the darker purple, just popping that on the outside. Pretty. Might swap to a brush in a minute. All right, so that's that purple laid down. I kind of wish there was a really bright pink in here. That would be awesome. But the brightest pink we have is the smushed up one that did have the multiple colors in it and now does not. I managed to dip into the pinks in this classified mm. shade. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> And I'm gonna just. Mm. Might just have to keep that unswelled so I can use those colors individually. 
Have you seen that show, My Life with the Walter Boys? I've been watching that this week. I've watched I think the first four episodes. It's quite addictive. <laughs> the girl in it is so beautiful. Okay. Well, I think that looks really cool. I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's standard. All right, I think I want to go in with this shade here, Extraterrestrial. <laughs> I found it really hard to say that word because I've put that nice greeny colored base down, greeny blue. So I want to go over the top and just, I wanted to give it even that more impact with that shade. He goes, nothing. Not actually on anything on this brush, I'm just using it to shape my edges a bit. Very, very pretty. It's like a palette for cloud fairies. I'm gonna deepen up the outer, the outer corner a little using this brush, a little flat densely packed one and taking this one the shade here specimen it's a fine looking specimen delirium's kicking in <laughs> and i'm dipping back into the purple shade that we used initially not roswell it's called Sometimes with these looks, I need to just keep like layering until I get where I want to be. That makes sense. Basically, I've got a little rainbow on my eye. If a rainbow were only made up of three colors. <laughs> Don't mind if they blur together at the top there a little bit. I think it's quite darn pretty. All right, let's do lower lash line and inner corner. And then I'll just pop on some real finishing, finishing touches. Uh, underneath the eye, I might just use one that we haven't used for the sake of it. So I might go in with Commander DF. Okay. The thing I do find with the <laughs> mattes from Adept Cosmetics is that you need to like go in a few times to get the pigment on the brush. And they're a bit powdery, so you do get a bit of fallout. So that is, that is a thing. So it's taken a few goes to get that proper, like, blue pigment. <laughs> looks so bad right now. It's going to look okay in the end, I promise. <laughs> and now I'm picking up Propulsion. My little refa pencil. I watched a good Christmas movie uh, the other day as well. I know I'm still watching Christmas movies, <laughs> even though Christmas is over. Yep, yeah, that's me. I'm that girl. Uh, it was a British one, and it was called Your Your Place or Mine. Your Christmas or Mine. That's what it was called. Your Christmas or Mine. It was really good. I just I just love their movies. <laughs> Last Christmas, one of my favourites. Love, love actually, because it's love actually, what's not to like. <laughs> Taking a Sigma blender, nothing on it. Picking up that first light purple shade. Just going over the top here. Takes a bit to get that eyeshadow on your face. I wouldn't say it's a great eyeshadow. Definitely requires some, some work, some finagling. I think I'd like a little pop of gold somewhere because there's this beautiful yellow, yellow gold in here. So pretty. But the question is, do I want to put it in the inner corner? Yeah, stuff it. Let's do that. All right. This could be a disaster. I can't, I can't say. <laughs> it could, could be an absolute disaster, but that's fine. Only Billy, my cavoodle, will have to 
deal with the consequences. Oh, I knew, obviously. Dipping into that beautiful yellow gold. All right, my camera is about to have a meltdown because the temperatures got too hot. So what we're going to do is I will go off camera. I'll get some eyeliners on, some mascara, and I'll pop back and just tell you what I did. <laughs> okay, back soon. Alrighty, I'm back and let me just get you up to speed with what I was doing while my camera was quietly melting down. I went ahead and on my top lash line, I used my Give line it up eyeliner in the shade bathwater which is absolutely stunning it is this beautiful metallic blue sensational it looks amazing in the waterline as well but it's not what i used it today in my waterline i used this teal color which is the mac excess sorry mac color excess gel liner pencil in the last word these are fantastic in your waterline excellent product by MAC and then I also just went in just in this little inner third of the top lash line with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Crystal Dimension Eyeliner my favorite liquid eyeliner on, on the planet and so that is what we did there and then obviously I've got mascara on now uh, I do have this little palette in front of me if I'm being honest I'm not that inspired to use it I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it um, all right, let's just try and mm, <laughs> let's see if we can use this as a little bit of a bronzy contour situation. I'll be honest though, I already have a little bit of Danessa Myrick's contour balm on because otherwise I just would have looked very pale. Mm, that's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's a ringing endorsement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, that shade's kind of like a blush for me. It's quite nice though. <laughs> Again, <laughs> she says, it's quite nice. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these two. What am I supposed to do? Like, obviously this is going to be a highlighter. But what is this? What do I do with that? That is not going to work as a highlighter on my skin tone. <laughs> I'm probably going to pass this on at some point. But anywho, let's do some actual blush now. And for that, because my base, this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tinted Serum. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> look at my Pat McGrath blush. <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get over it with some therapy. Uh, because, yeah, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint tends to get a bit oily on my face. I am going to use a powder blush, whereas I normally use cream blushes. So we are going to use my very broken Pat McGrath blush. Oh, that makes me sad. Such a pretty one, that one. I loved the duos. I think she should go back to the duos. I've put way too much on my brush. <laughs> Sorry. And for the sake of funsies, I think we might as well go ahead and use a multi-chrome highlighter. This one is called Dimension. It is from Artitude Cosmetics. It's one of their cool highlighters. He's messaging me. It's probably a promo. It's usually someone trying to sell me stuff. And often it works. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a little Sigma fan brush for this. I'm still kind of deciding if I enjoy using fan brushes. <laughs> This highlighter is spectacular though. I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Looks great with this blush too. That is one special highlighter. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I just want to put my moles back on my face. I mean, they're still there, but... I feel so weird and naked without them, like I'm just some weird blank canvas that's not quite finished. <laughs> All right, so that is that. And for lips, I reckon I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Petal Pout Liquid Lip 
soft matte lip colour. I never know what to call this. <laughs> and the shade I'm using is blush. And we have a final finished product using the Adept Element 115 eyeshadow palette. This little guy here. There you go. <laughs> All right, what do we think? Let's see. Uh, actually, before I tell you that, let's get some swatches. I am that was a terrible sentence grammatically but let's let's try that again I am often not surprised that I don't love the matte formula from Adept Cosmetics I just don't it it's just not my favorite there are worse formulas out there but it is not my favorite I do think that this shade performed really nicely and this one performed really nicely I did have to build them both up uh, this one was fine as well and this one, not so great. This one, it took a lot of effort to get color on my lid. So from the pan to my lid, it took quite a bit of, bit of effort. Having said that, I still, it still looks good and it was worth the battle. <laughs> and I do like the colors that they've chosen to go with these metallic shades. I think I really, I like that. I like the combination. I think the metallic shades are beautiful as they always are. They always pack a punch. They always pack a punch, the Adept Cosmetics eyeshadows. Yeah. I just hope that they're going to stay on my lid. I have never tried them with the Barry M glitter fixer gel, so I'm really hoping it, it does the trick. I think I said in another video of mine, like, I adore the Inspired palette and I adore the Minka palette, but I don't use these when I know I'm going to be out for a long period of time. So say I'm just going, maybe I'm just going out to a theatre show, in the evening and I'm just putting my makeup before I go, then I might use one of my Adept palettes. But if I need my makeup to stay on for a long period of time, I'm not using them because these do not last on my eyelids. Generally speaking, they don't last very long at all. So I love how these look and I'm hoping with the glitter primer they will stay put, but we will have to just wait and see. As for these little shades here, I think I, <laughs> even though I kind of smush them together, I think I want to try and use them separately because there's not really a bright pink in this palette. And so I was able to use the middle of this eyeshadow to get that pink in the middle of my eyelid. I wish there was a, like a hot pink metallic eyeshadow in here. That would be so cool. But they are beautiful. The ones in here are beautiful. I'm definitely going to need to use it again to see how I feel a second time around. Look, I think it's really pretty. I don't know if I would buy it full price. I did get this on sale because Adept Cosmetics palettes are very expensive <laughs> and I definitely still prefer my Inspired palette and my Minka palette. But having said that, this looks really pretty. So yeah, if you love these kind of colors, then, you know, maybe give it a go. But if you have oilier eyelids, definitely wear a shadow primer. That is, that is my opinion. With this, I think the blush is really nice. Oh, should we try? I've got this beautiful multi-chrome highlighter on my cheeks. Look, I don't think I can even be bothered trying the highlighter in this. This one is going to be way too deep for my skin tone. This one will be all right, I think. It's nice and smooth. I do like kind of a light, soft gold highlight color. Okay, well, maybe I'll keep it here and we'll use it in one of my other videos. I've still got What's Up palettes to do videos on, but yeah. There you go. That is what I'm thinking at this point in time when it comes to the Adept Cosmetics Element 115 eyeshadow palette. I'm sure I will give you some further information as I use it a little bit more. But thank you so much for being here today. Please click on the little subscribe button because I would so love to see your face here again. And please leave a comment and a thumbs up if you feel like it. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I'll see you again very soon back here at the Dally Diaries. 
Tchau! Tchau! <laughs>